Hope and prayers tonight as a Bay Area teenager suffering from a brain-eating amoeba takes off on a flight to save his life. Good evening, I'm Keith Cates. And I'm Stacy Scheibel. Thank you for joining us. That 13-year-old Florida boy is battling a rare brain-eating amoeba and will continue to get the treatment he needs. That's because today he and his parents flew to Chicago, something made possible by a local air ambulance company. Nico Clemens live at the Tampa International Airport tonight with that story. Yeah, this family is hopeful. Uh, they just left Tampa a couple of hours ago, but they believe this treatment is the next best thing. They're also thankful because so many people have, have pitched in to help. Caleb is brave. Caleb is strong. Caleb is a fighter. The last 54 days have shown the Ziggo Bowers that family is in all blood. From doctors to friends and strangers, they're able to help their son Caleb get better. He is made of pure grit and determination, and it is exactly that which we are banking on to wake him up. After a beach visit in July, the 13-year-old started complaining about a headache. And then he had a fever. His parents would soon learn their son contracted a rare brain-eating amoeba. He's fought ever since. Now he'll get more treatment in Chicago, thanks to Jet ICU, a Tampa-based air ambulance company. He's already fought one of the hardest, most rarest diseases there are. Uh, Jet ICU's not going to let a couple-hour flight uh, up to Chicago to uh, stop his recovery. Caleb is the oldest of four, loves baseball and science, and wants to be an epidemiologist. His parents say thank you isn't enough. But right now, it's all they have. We won't dwell on the last two months. We move forward. We continue to heal. And we couldn't do it without the help of our community, our family, all of you. And a family says the uh, rehab center they're going to in Chicago will provide the specific program that Caleb needs. Live in Tampa, Nico Clementine on your side.